Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? So uh, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm gonna do a uh, um, quick, quick, quick video. I'm gonna introduce to you guys the uh, newly imported uh, foldable elastic size 5 8. Uh, we got brown, red, off-white, light green, black, pink or that's white and this is off white light blue purple uh here is the navy blue this is the dark this is the yellow and this is orange now there are many many type of uh foldable elastic out there many of them when you pull after a few times they lose their stretch these are very 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 good quality polyester and they're very good quality and they're 5'8". And why they call foldable elastic? Because there is a line right in the middle. So they fold. Right, Jasmine? Yes. So these are fold over elastics. Again, we have them on our website, 50 yard rolls and, um, but we sell them by, I think, 10 yards as well. But a lot of people call and say, how you put them on? I have done a video before on this one, but today I'm gonna do it again. On a regular industrial sewing machine, you could use a tool called 100 LS. It's a, um, what we call is a uh, single fold uh, folder, single fold folder, right? And it binds, meaning that it takes the elastic and folds it in half and you just start sewing and it will cover the edges of your whatever you need to do. There are other stuff that use this elastic too, but this is the main thing that people use. And that there's other name for it also, raw edge, meaning that this would take the bias, the bias or elastic and fold it in half. So this area is gonna be raw. It's not gonna be clean finish. Since these are already clean finish from the factory, meaning there is no edges, there is no length, there is no anything, there is no cut. So you could just fold them and put them on. So I'm gonna put this on, but before we put them on, I'm gonna show you there's another uh, bracket, TR300, that you could use on any type of table that you have. Overlock, cover stitch, any binding. I'm sure you've seen this, I'm gonna just put them on. I'm just gonna put them on since you're gonna be watching. I'm gonna be showing you guys what it is, the three TR, um, 300, and pretty much TR stand for uh, table or rack, 300, probably 300 millimeter. I mean, name chi Chinese people came up with, TR 300. So this is the bracket or the clamp. This is the, the thing, it goes here. Easy, and this one goes underneath, right? And you just, I'm gonna do it away from the switch. Turn on the machine, done, this is good. You're gonna put this on, right? So it will feed, right? Now, close up here for this. This is a regular sewing machine feed called 24983. This is what the machine counted it. Juki DDL8700 or any other new Tech 8700, anything. But if you wanna get close to this edge and let's say sew right in the middle, you're gonna have a little problem. You need a thumb screw and I'm gonna get to that too. Thumb screw, it's on our website. You need two of them, put it on and Usually you need two, you could use one, you could do two, I use two. Uh, you could bring this all the way, I just want you guys to see. If I bring, wanna bring this all the way in, I'm gonna have a problem, right? Because it's not, it's hitting this, right? You could do two things, you could open this two screw, take that all the way up, move them over, or if you wanna be natural, that's what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and change the, um, the foot. 
I'm going to use a binder foot. There are 601, 602, 603, 604 on our website. 601 is from one quarter, let's say, all the way to seven, eight, three quarter, 602 for a different size, 604, 603, you know, all different sizes. I'm going to explain to you what I mean by that. So if I, I'm going to tie this up, right? These are thumb screw. It's on our website. There is three different sizes. Small, medium, large. What size did you bring? The medium? I brought the medium, yes. The medium. So you could really take the small one if you want to use it for the bed right here. You could also use that for the foot also, right? The same thumb screw. Now, if I want to adjust this, I'm going to open this up. See, I could bring it all the way. But taking it all the way up, it doesn't even help us with this area. See, we want something that doesn't have this. That's when this foot comes in, you see? It's called 601. When you buy one of these, buy one of these 601s and it will help you. And I'm, I'm, I know, you know, I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna just start sewing a little bit. This is a brand new machine going to a customer and these elastics, you could zoom on the elastic. That's the whole idea of this video, right? We're gonna show people what we have, beautiful colors of elastic right yes and i'm gonna put this up put this down and i'm gonna start sewing Open. see i'm gonna show him what happens see i'm so it didn't do the job the reason is that the needle is far away from the fold, the foot doesn't let the folder get as close. Now, if you had lo uh, wider biases, then it would be a different story. You could still use this, but this is too small. I just wanted to show you that this is not gonna happen, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my glasses on and I'm gonna go ahead and change this. I think we did a video on this, I think so. But anyway, I think it's a good idea to do another video because, you know, people usually don't go back. So put this back on, 601. Bring it down. You see now? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, it's not being blocked anymore. It's not being blocked anymore. Um, it, you know, now you could think of quick ch change. Quick change screw? Quick change screw. We have those two. We have those two on our website. So you just push the, okay. So now I'm going to open this up, right? And... Now we could only use one screw because now there is other two screws there too that you could use the hole, right? But See this now? Mm -hmm. You could get as close as you could go. Meanwhile, I have to put the thread back on and in.
Now you want to spread it out. You want to go from left to right. Pull the thread up. Come on now. One more time. Yeah. One more time. See? You want to grab. Take your time. A lot of people say it doesn't grab. But it has to grab it. Maybe there is no enough. Okay. So there is no, see sometimes when it doesn't grab the lower thread, just pull it out and where are you? Where is the end of this? That's the end. Put it in there. Doesn't matter which way. Put it through the slot, go back. I cut it. This is not me, believe me. This is probably the thread. In the, so I'm going to do it slowly. Okay, leave the thread out. Go like this inside. I know where I'm going, but um, you could also do it from up here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You see, this is lower thread. Take this two, put it behind right here. I'm gonna put this right here. I could even do more if I wanted to. Let's just see how we're gonna do right now with this, the setup that I did. I could go closer actually, you could go up and closer. But let's see. was too this is what I'm talking about have somebody walking from the back door asking for super glue. Okay, so it helps. So here, then you don't want this elastic to be stretchy, right? So as you go on, you could always like pull some more, but um, this is pretty much hands-free. Now, this is per perfect, folded, and this is the stitch, right? Now, I forgot to get a fabric for this. Let me go get a, we have a fabric, so try it on a fabric. Where are my fabrics? We have lots of fabric. I forgot. All right, here we go. Sorry, my bad. Regular, I'm gonna just raise this and put it, we're gonna fit it together, right? Put it underneath here. Let's see if you're gonna, do it. Um, I'm gonna do a good job, okay? Okay, let's see how it is. All right, now, when I'm putting this one in there, I wanna make sure that this goes inside so i have now to go more i have to go more inside see just to show you guys this is how i did it i mean i didn't pretty much but i want to show you see it didn't grab everything but the way it is i'm gonna come up open this up Do we have super glue? We do not sell super glue. We don't have super glue? No, we do not. We should get it. Customer wants it. That's, that's a smart idea. 
Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead. I don't plan this thing from before. I just do it. What do you say? A, a spontaneously. Spontaneously. A spontaneously. We never know until the day of. <laughs> we, ne <laughs> we never know <laughs> till the minute, right? Correct. Let's see. Maybe we should start. Reverse, rehearsal, rehearsal. Mm -hmm. At least going through it once. All right. We should take a vote, see what the customer's like. This is the good one, right? Right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make it okay. So now the fabric has to go in between this. And let's try to do it. All you have to do, you have to go between this, right? And you see that? Now this is very tiny, that's why it might be a little bit hard, but gotta do what we gotta do. I'm gonna try. What if you fold it? Fold it like this? Yeah. No, we don't want to fold it. Oh. You know, it's, the problem is that all these lints yeah. that are there, that's why it prevents you from, but I'm going to cut this and let a... Can I get some nice scissors here, please? Okay, so I'm going to just doing it from here, let's say. You gotta go as much as you can to the edge. And you see, you have to be very careful now. Oh yeah. I'm gonna just do this. Get rid of this. That's how fast this is gonna work, look. Right? A lot of people make spaghetti with this. You see that? Now, I did a good job, I think, for... Here. This is how it's gonna be. Back and the front. Now, I didn't have a very good fabric. If I get a very good, like, cut, a straight, nice, see, you're not gonna have this problem. But that's the whole idea. This is, again, this is 5 8 When you fold it in half, what, 5 8 hold in half, five would be, like, let's say, two and two, two over four. I don't know, that's what it means. Uh, anyways, really tiny. it is very tiny, that's what it is. But, you're getting the idea of how this thing works. And that's how a lot of people make, make a spaghetti. And a lot of people make bra strap, a lot of people make bathing to, to a strap. See, like that. Sit all day long. A lot of people put a weight on the bottom and just start going. Right? That's how it's gonna be done. I, uh, so this is the foldable elastic, and this is 100 LS, and the foot right here is 601, and this is uh, TR-300, and I'm David, and this is Jasmine, Hello. and uh, this is Juki DDI 700. I'm still looking around for a better piece of fabric, uh, but I think we're good. I think we, we, we 
I think everybody got the idea. You think so? You should give it another try. I think so, yes. Everybody got, those, everybody got pictures. The, you got the picture. All right. Very nice. Uh, David from Gold Star Tour, thank you for watching. Please thumbs up, like my videos. For sure, like my videos. Thumbs up. Press that bell. Share my videos. Make nice comments. Subscribe. Sub Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe and have a golden day. Have a golden day. Thank you for watching.